Welcome, party members, to Hollow Body, a uh, horror game that, I mean, like most, I try to not look too much into. All I've really heard is that this game is supposed to be Silent Hill-esque, so, and it's made by a solo dev, so I'm expecting some scuff, but I don't know, from, from the few reviews I saw, people were like, yeah, this one's actually pretty good. So I'm like, all right, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll bite. In the mid-21st century, a catastrophic incident unfolded along the western coast of the British Isles. A suspected bioterrorism attack of unknown origins targeting one of the numerous British cities long since plagued by economic hardship and depravity. Oh, spooky. As panic swept the nation, authorities and private security firms raced against time to evacuate the fortunate few deemed high-value citizens. Uh, <laughs> oops. So, talking about getting the high-value people out of the city. A sprawling metropolis constructed atop a man-made landmass floated in the expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean. Fearing the unchecked contagion could spread, towering walls were erected around the western cities, sealing them off from the rest of civilization. Well, that's no good. Weeks of relentless orbital strikes rained down on what were once bustling urban uh, centers, incinerating any vestiges of hope for those abandoned within the quarantine zone. Oh. Six long decades have passed since the fall of the western cities. While many who suffered strive to forget, there are still those fighting for answers and justice. And that'll be us. And we're going to get all the justice today. Or are we going to die? That That is probably the more likely outcome. UNRPC research team, city limits. Alright game, I'm not afraid of you. You can't harm me. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're in like a, a very tight uh, suit. We got that booty. Uh, super Trum. Signing up with an underfunded group of activists, pushing back against everything those fuckers hang over us. Uh huh. That's you my don't trauma. Fall like that without some kind of beat. Personally, mine's pretty vanilla. They took my son. Where'd they take him? They oh, took his son to Disneyland oh, without him. I'm sorry. And now he'll never yeah, live it down. Okay. Well, you thought wrong. You should have bought the annual pass to Disney for him. And you wouldn't be in this mess. Looking for answers. My mother was one of the kids that made it out. Her parents worked so lucky. Okay. Almost, almost screwed up. That much they couldn't hide. I'm just sick of no one being held accountable. Right, hence this team. You wanted to get close. Start at the source and work your way back. Exactly. Something like that. But yeah, something like that, indeed. She passed two months back now. I guess... I guess this is just my way of making sense of that. I'm sorry. It's an old familiar story. We're among friends here. We'll get answers no matter what. I hope so. I hope so, indeed. Oh, we're with Charlie. I never liked him. No, oh boy, we're gonna be walking for years just to get down this beach. Oh, we can run. We're gonna beat you down there, Charlie. I'm gonna go to the ocean and you'll never see me again. Hey guys, no more. Oh hey, Can yeah. Have to ask you about something? Yeah, we left Mark yeah, behind. He's, uh, he's not here. I mean, obviously. Mark! Buddy! Got a job to do here! <laughs> what if that just like Mark? He's just like standing like five feet away and they're like, oh guys, I've been here all along. 
Yeah, I'll be around somewhere. Mm. Sasha, why don't you check along the beach whilst we finish setting up here? He's probably off taking a dump or something. Yeah. Sure. Nice. I'm on it. Is this where you're just gonna find Mark? Just dead. Oh. Just don't go get yourself lost too. Oh, don't worry, I will. I'm I'm bound to get lost. Alright, Mark, are you over here? Are you on this part of the beach? I mean there are footprints. That has to account for something, Mark. If that's even your real name. Hello? Oh, he's probably dead behind Big Rock. Or not. Mark. Curse the invisible walls, stopping me from finding Mark. Mark! Hello? Mark yeah, Mark. Mark. We've got a job to do. Yeah, Mark. We got a job to do. We got places to be. People to see. Strange, scary cities to invade. Why does it look like we have, like, blood around our ankles? It's just, like, red. Compared to, like, the rest of the suit, it's like, hmm. I wonder what we've been doing. Oh shit. It's a Mark's mask. Oh, we can't, we can't interact with it. It's just, like, part of the show. Hmm, yes. The total normal things that we want to do. Go into the scary, dark place looking for Mark. This is not what I would think. I would just be like, alright, yeah, Mar Mark's fucked if he went in there. He, he can be on his own for now. I'm not going down here. I do like the the kind of static camera angles like this. It's like, hmm, something's watching us. So something's out here. Mark, oh bugs, step on them. Okay. Um, is this where Mark went? <laughs> Mark just went into the big angry flesh pit. Okay, yeah. Oh no. We're gonna get pushed. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, is that Mark? Yo, Mark, you've seen better days, I would say. Okay. I'm confused. Okay. Mika's apartment, 12 days later. Hmm. Meek, my guy pulled through. He's got the pass. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. We're the cyberpunk city. We gotta do it. Somewhere. Scared and alone. Us? Is that us? We're, we're out there scared and alone? Flying cars. My guy's waiting on the east sheets. Borrow seven mm -hmm. near the underpass. Once he's flashed the clearance mod on your hover, he'll set you up with some blocker fluid. You'll need to take it when you're about I, an hour I need some blocker minutes. fluid. I'll keep you on contact, but you know as well as me, anything happens out there, and you're on your own. Can we drive the car? Are you sure this is the right call? We have a mission, and it's to crash the flying She's car. Home tax. Oh. Are we crashing? We might be crashing. I sure hope we don't. Oh, good. 
four hours later. Okay. All that loading and almost crashing just for that. Shake my head. Severe weather conditions identified. Oh, well, that's why we have the blocker fluid. We, we can just tell the weather no. Several of my atmospheric sensors are reading concerning... That was a rhetorical question, Beeb. Beeb? I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. Mm -mm. We're not going to do that. We're going to fly into the eye of the storm. Three miles out from where Sasha was posted. You think you can hold on? No. There is a statistical probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussion. Sorry, I'm unable to process your request. The, the, the root function termination is protected oh. and will require an administrator. Well, <laughs> I guess I guess our uh, flying car has been terminated. Oh, well, at least we crash landed in Silent Hill. Now we can finally go talk to John Hill about finally making a good Silent Hill game. I really wish that we got PT as an actual game instead of just the, the teaser of it. That, that would have been a lot of fun. I feel like every game has been trying to like emulate it, but never does well. Oh, I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. Your hover, what? <laughs> Your hoover vacuum? I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. I had to find a vantage point someplace high enough to get a signal through on my radio and call for help. Okay. This wasn't over. I mean, yeah, it, this was like the, the prologue. It would be uh, pretty crazy if the game was like, all right, cool, <laughs> we realized we needed a radio signal. Roll the credits. System, Tax. critical. Tax, do you copy? Oh shit, we can just walk through the garbage. Oh. Well, hopefully the flashlight doesn't run on battery, because otherwise, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be out very quick. Nice. Medical spray has been left in the back of the ambulance. No, we don't need it. We don't need the repair spray. Thank God Nanotech doesn't have a sh Shelf life. Let's see here. I'm guessing that there's some interference by whatever this weird growth is. It's like, you're never leaving the city now. Now you're trapped in here. Okay, so we recenter the camera on ourselves and we can kind of nudge it where we need to go. All right, that that's not too bad. Ah, yes, a playground. We can finally go down the slide. Just what we've always wanted. We can't go down the slide. Let me up. <laughs> okay. Then we can maybe... Yeah, climb up. Nice. So anyways, we've uh, broken into one apartment so far. Okay. Time to find a way up to the roof. Perfect. We'll be like that uh, crazy squatter video going around. We'll be like, all right, so anyways, th this is our our house now. We'll, we'll rent out their Airbnb, and then we'll make an excuse so we stay for 30 days, and then we'll just obtain ownership. We used to be happy. I was going to say that looks like it says we used to be horny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That, that would uh, probably not be correct. 
All right, I guess we'll just keep going up for now. Hmm. Red light on the wall. Nothing bad could possibly be in here. I'm ready for something to like jump out at me. I'm like, it's been, it's been like 10 minutes of game. I am ready. Ah, oh, shoot. Boner skeleton spooky. Hmm, there's something pierced through their stomach. Hmm, guess they got on the wrong side of someone with nothing to lose. Can we take it? I need to like move my, uh, <laughs> my setup like just ever so slightly. Because it's like blocking the screen just in a way that I'm like, so anyways, I can't see this. Maybe like this? Well, it'll be more like right leaning, but now we can actually like see the screen. All right, well, we'll give the, this a shot. Hopefully it doesn't look too, too awkward. There's a lot of blood. Oh, shoot. Ammo. Now when we, we can finally shoot the gun. Ah, oh, shit. Can we make some nourishment? Just trash and dirty plates. I'm not cleaning it. But you could. We could clean it up. <laughs> Bathtubs are so weird. I can't believe people used to just sit in them and expect to come out clean. Well, I'm gonna go sit in a bathtub just to spite you. We're gonna have the the Haven bathtub stream, uh, stream. I can speak, I swear. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this game is. I heard it's done by a solo dev and I guess they've been working on it for like three years. So, I mean, <laughs> pretty impressive. Like, I do like the atmosphere of the game so far. Thankfully, this one should not just be another walking dot sim because it looks like we actually have like a weapon and stuff that we can use here. I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like just like, yeah, like the buzzing there and the the amount of like eeriness that came from this room in particular. I'm like, something bad is going to happen in here. <laughs> You'd have to be pretty short to lie down comfortably in one of these things. Showers just make so much more sense. What's with our protagonist and just <laughs> hating uh, uh, bathtubs? They're like, uh, another bathtub? Uh, gross. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to see if there's anything of uh, interest in here. Oh, we have, we have a letter from Sasha too. Okay. Nice, some more heal spray, which means that the game is going to be like, so anyways, you wanted a monster, right? Yeah, <laughs> giving us ammo and health. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Oh, John Jesus is in here. Oh shit, there he is, there's Jesus. Okay, I thought he had no pants on and I was gonna be like, oh my gosh. Ooh, we get some information on them. All right. You know, nothing bad could, could happen because of this. Take the key, yeah. You better not. You better not. I I'm so ready for it, but I'm I, <laughs> um, I don't like this. Okay. That that was that was the fake out. <laughs> they're they're gonna get us at some point here. I just know it. What? What was that? Okay, I'm ready for ya. Okay, so since we equipped the gun once, now we can quick equip and unequip it. Okay, okay. All right, what, what weird angry thing about bathtubs do you have to say? You couldn't pay me to take a shower in this place. Okay. All right, more health. Another person. There's Eepy. Eepy. Oh, ah, they died by acute dehydration. Yeah. 
when I'm <laughs> cutely dehydrated, that's what I look like too. <laughs> Gross, the sheets are stained. Like, uh, I think this entire place is stained. Close another useless junk. Oh shit, there he is, pyramid head. I can see right through to the ground floor. There's something on the table, I can't reach it with my bare hands. Hmm. We need one of those, like, grabby hands. I don't like the, the slow zoom in. It's, it's gotta get us. Uh, can we equip the, the key card that we got? 2.3. Two dot four, two dot three. Here we go. There we go, and it's unlocked. The floor's collapsed. We're into the room below. Jump down. No, not just yet. Okay, that won't budge. So okay, so I'm guessing that we have to go down. Uh, all right, let's go. I love just the bomb. <laughs> the bomb is just in the middle right there. Like, hello, yes. This happened. The missile lies dormant, buried underneath the rubble. Is it active? I don't want to wait and find out. What? Is it this? Oh, the, the phone. Hello? Hi. Is, uh, is anyone there? It's, uh, me. I'm sorry. Okay. Who is this? Yeah, who is this? Why are you calling? How are you? How is this line still active? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. This is my home. This was always my home. Well, it could be our home. Layers upon layers. Concrete and dark. Mm hmm. Sickness still dead. Yeah, hmm. this is a waste of my time. I'm hanging up. <laughs> the person's like, all right, creepy boys, and goodbye. Creepy fucking robot. <laughs> we just like talk shit, and then the robots or the voice is like, I am not a robot, I am God. We just have to like tilt the the robot. That that's what we'll do. Uh What I, I thought it took over my controls when she did that. That's why I was like, oh no. Child's drawing has been added to the documents. Let's go. If I was a billionaire, I would buy a mummy and daddy and get pizza every day. That doesn't seem very, uh, happy. Can we flip it over? Now I hear something. I don't want to know what that something is. Mmm, pneumonia. That's what causes the death around here. Nothing useful, just some clothes. <laughs> Perfect. They redecorated the family photo. Okay, and then what I'm guessing we can do is we can go in here, use the item of the claw hammer. We cannot. I was hoping that we could put it in our hand here. All right, creepy thing in this room. I'm ready for you. 
What if we just shot the bomb? Could we? Could we shoot the bomb? Let me go first person aiming. Darn, I do not think we can shoot the bomb based on these controls. Oh boy, we can't see the bathtub. Uh, radiator is badly damaged. Or that. I thought something was going to be in the bathtub. Plaster board. I'm breaking through with the right tool. Oh, don't worry, we have that. The key card to the room. Jeez, we did some work. We just deleted the wall. Mm-hmm. Portable cell battery. Okay. Sure. Well, we can see what's in this room here. Clearly nothing bad. There's a bathtub again. <laughs> I'd kill for a shower right now, but this one smells like death. Yeah, that, that's fair. I, the fact that nothing is broken in yet, and yet we like hear some sounds, I'm like, wait, please. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. Uh, the, the anticipation is what's killing me. It's like the first one is going to be the scariest. And then usually they kind of calm down after that. But it's like the wait to go from the beginning to the first scare. Uh, yep, they left in a hurry. Because it's like along this wall that we're like hearing noises. I don't like that. There, <laughs> There's going to be something that's either going to like try and jump out at us when we leave. Or it's going to be like, oh, you got the room card for that room. Go in there now. Oh, wait, that was the room we were just in. Huh? Cool. Guess we're going to find out. All right. Gate is locked tight. And I'm, yeah, <laughs> we can't get into that room, I'm guessing, without a key card, so only one way forward. I hear you, whatever's doing that. Oh, wait, no, it's down here. Oh, no. Uh, I'm... uh it's going to be like, oh, take this, fun, funny time. Yeah, but then they're gonna break out. Uh, lo ah! Ah, that's them! Run away! <laughs> Wait. Hold. Okay. So lock on or, or stomp. Ah! <laughs> Oh, please. I don't want to go in here. Where'd they go? Hello? Room service? Yeah, oh, there it is. All right, what the... What in the world is this abomination? <laughs> Oh, hello. Get out of here. Get out. I've trained against aliens in Conker's Bad Fur Day just for this. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> there we go. We did it. We beat it up. 
Oh, dude, look at that dumpy. <laughs> Got a big dumpy over here. All right, well, that, that wasn't as bad as it could have been, thankfully. Graduation. All right, guessing what? We can use probably something off of, what is it? This document, newspaper? Something about graduation in here? Maybe not. Celebrating a birthday, looks like she has a kid, can't be more than three or four years old. Hmm. All right, all right, graduation, three girls, university. One appears to be heavily pergonant. So then there has to be something else with like a date around here. New patient. Date of birth. So 2025 is the date of birth. Maybe we'll give that a shot. Dang it. Okay, university diploma. Hmm, I mean, we can just try like a few more dates. Maybe she was like super per pregnant. Maybe there's something else in here. Three girls, one is a pregnant. Unless she's Helen, and she was born in 2025. I mean, judging by how some of the stuff is in this game with time, that might be it. Oh, it's probably gonna be one of those that, so we know she lived to be 30, right? If she was born in 2025, so 2055, and then the kid's like three, so 2052, right? Oh my gosh, that, that's silly. Large metal key. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's my mistake. Because since it didn't give us like too much information and not knowing like the timeline of this game, I was like, uh, maybe it's old photos. You know, maybe she's a lot older than the game let on. But we did it. We used our singular brain cell to solve it. Now we have one slightly larger brain cell. I keep trying to play one-handed when I, like, go for, like, water and stuff. And I'm like, that's going to be the exact time I'm going to get jumped by one of these things. And it's uh, not going to be fun. Okay. Oh, jeez. The <laughs> the root rot or whatever from, from Remnant 2 came in here and is uh, dealing some massive damage. Old TV set. Yeah, why don't we uh, pack that away? We can make some money. We're gonna be rich. Oh. They're all stripped bare. Uh, cut off the city, left the people to starve. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Someone needs to answer for this. So we kind of have the same goal as the, the previous girl. Yeah, not too sure what the point of this room here was. Nah, uh, spreads like mold. I hope it's not airborne. Oh, uh, it probably is. We've probably lost, like, what remains of our sanity, and now we're just, like, playing into whatever weird demon things game at this point. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, gonna, gonna be a bad time. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He led Mother Buzzer. Can we stomp? Right foot to stomp. Left foot to stomp. Right pistol. Four shots. Run away! I keep accidentally turning off the uh, the torch. 
All right, we, we need to like conserve some ammo here. Yeah, get out of here. They didn't call me the Wrestle Dome champion for nothing. Yeah, get out of here. And that's how you deal with your inner demons. <laughs> Just hit them with the spiked club. Well, we've already wasted enough ammo here. Yeah, because each of those was eating, like, at least, like, six shots. So, yeah, we're not in a great ammo position. Oh, shit. She's breaking out. Nope. Curfew is 6 p.m. You have to go back. See, be back when I was young... Ah, uh, 34,000 years ago. Uh, <laughs> I'd be a dorm RA, and this is how I get the, the students back in their room after curfew. You give them some nice wooden persuasion. <laughs> it's like a cheap B-movie, or one of those slasher films. We're freaking ourselves out. You're... <laughs> you're freaking yourself out now after you've killed, like, five of these things. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Our nemesis, knee-high boxes. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like, doorways blocked with <laughs> boxes, and we're like, uh, we could step over them. We could just, you know, just move our body just a little bit. But no. That's not allowed here, I guess. Oh, shit. More bathtub dialogue. Smells like someone died in here. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe killing those ones, like, maybe opened up another door or something? Get it here. So we do have the key. So in theory, that should allow us to go through, like, one of the doors over here. I like that we're just kicking the skull, like, one of the few objects we can actually interact with. Could we go in this one? I don't know. Yeah, it's looking familiar. Yeah, that that was the room. Oh yeah, th this was the room that we like learned that things were spooky. I sure hope they didn't reset all of them. Okay, so since we killed the creatures, they should stay dead. At least that's the hope here. And then we play soccer with their skulls. Yes, long key. <laughs> and then I think we needed to go downstairs because there's like something that's quote unquote down here. Oh. Can we? I don't know how the damaged battery would work. I guess battery acid on the expanding foam? The game kind of gave us the, the gimme on that. So does this mean if we wanted to, can we use the long key on it? It doesn't fit. I guess this key was just for the first floor. Oh, uh, she's British. <laughs> that, that was the like very first review I saw for the game. And they're like, I didn't think the game would be scary at first. But then the uh, protagonist was British or whatever. And I was like, of course. Ooh. Another long key and a card reader. Take the... No, we don't need them. Magnetic card writer. Okay. And the girlfriend gate key. Let's go. Note has been added. Chase, I finally had all the locks updated. The only resident that refused was the whack job in 14. We'll see if the super can do something about him. Anyway, keep this remapper somewhere safe. Next time you lose your card, just hit the master button and swipe any of the spare rooms. Uh, it'll rewrite the card to give you access to those. Okay, cool, cool. If those kids on the second give you shit again, call me. Uh, 
We might have already dealt with the kids on the second. We gave them justice. So we can combine with this. There we go. And now we have the master room card, which means we can go everywhere. Now I just want the scene of our uh, protagonist, like, bending the key card and, like, putting it into the metal locks. And the lock is like, whoa, I can't stop that, I guess. Perfect. So so the, the girlfriend gate key did the, the trick here. Doesn't mean ground, fo uh, ground floor. It's definitely that. Don't we have the master key? Yeah. Hello, room service. I'm coming to break and enter and see what bathtub dialogue your room has. Oh no, it has none. We are truly in the darkest timeline in which we have no bathtub dialogue. All right, gross. Yeah, not touching any of this. Ow. <laughs> um, sir, I, that's uh, improper sleeping position. Okay, poor guy. Well, he is poor now. He has no more material wealth. You know, my my uh, speech capacity is too small to say in intracranial hematoma. Maybe not. Maybe we're learning how to speak. We'll finally have uh, decent speaking skills. Well, we locked onto something. I I do kind of like... We kind of get like the Silent Hill-esque like vibe to them where like the radio static is going. Curfew is... T it's curfew time. Curfew time. Curfew. Huh. Well, we have our healing spray. So I think we're fine now. Yeah, see, <laughs> the game is just like, you are fine. Yeah, I need to, I guess, see kind of what the threshold is on, like, the healing spray. Because I know, like, when I would play, like, some of the Resident Evils, like, I'd use the health spray too often. And then it's like, so, you know you're going to die. Because you were only at medium damage and you used your, your healing spray. Your two green herbs that you just like shoved into an aerosol bottle and called it good. Ooh, built the old bathtub. A pool of stale water sits at the bottom. The bathtub lore expands. Aortic dissection. You know, I hate when that happens. You just want to hang out at home, and then all of a sudden you have an aortic dissection and die. Noise complaint. Tell them something's off, they have the audacity to tell me what's in the pipes. It's the pipes. Well, I might not be Captain Obvious, but I already checked the pipes. They don't act up at 2am, I swear to god, if I hear that unit upstairs stomping around again, I'm gonna go up there and give them a piece of my mind. Fucking idiots. Nice. You know, I don't want to go into the red room over here. Nothing ever happens from random red rooms you find on the internet. Couldn't pay me to sleep here. I don't know, could be pretty good. This place is like a one star on Yelp, but it could be, uh, you know, one of those like hidden gems. Jokes on the guy that lived here, we're actually the person stomping around upstairs. Alright, so what we need right now I guess would be some more medical spray if we can find it so I'm hoping maybe one of these rooms isn't like a, a trap and actually gives us something good because that's my main concern Ooh, the bathtub's all lit up you better have some good lore Ah, oh, just smells like death um was this guy squashed by the TV let's go they did always say TV rots your brain. Yeah, I'm definitely getting haunted for that one. That's fair. I'm probably also going to be haunted for all the shit I say on this channel. 
So, uh, we'll be in the same boat there. Oh? Ammo? We get so much ammo. But no medicals. So I wonder... With the map... Okay, the map doesn't, like, give us any information. Like, oh, you missed X on this floor or something. Well, I mean, we can go under here. Yeah, nothing bad could be under here. Oh, we got a cutscene. Are we watching TV? I feel my brain rotting in real hey, time. You remember that yeah. day we got stuck at the sushi joint on 7? Yeah, pretty good sushi. I do love me oh, some sushi. I want I want some. Everyone was freaking out, calling their bosses, <laughs> lawyers, loved ones. But you said you didn't care. Yeah. You trapped there with me. And as much sushi as Hell you Hell yeah. You said there was no better way to go. Family and Fauche. Fauche. You know, that was the first time anyone had called me that. Family. Hmm. Welcome to the family, son. Just the two of us. Making something from nothing. Progress. Let's see if this side has roof access. Not another phone call. Yeah, so, sorry, spooky phone. We gotta read about the tenants. Okay, so <laughs> the, this one just saying like, oh, stuff is changing with their rental prices and such. Hello? Spooky demon on the phone, are you here? Yes. Oh, great. It's you. things were. Murderer. Can you stop saying that? Fuck. <laughs> they, they know how to tilt us. Murderer. Hell yeah. What the fuck is this place? We beat him up. <sighs> I can't be here. I... I have to get out. I have to get Sasha. <laughs> We're telling the, the demon our, our wants and worries. Be careful what you wish for. Okay. Paving the murderer. So anyways, I'm ready to start murdering again. Aw oh shit, we got some vodka. Let's go, yeah. I wonder if it'll have kind of that, like, Resident Evil, Silent Hill type mechanic where it's like, alright, you have the vodka, and then maybe mix it with, like, bandages, and it's like, alright, now you have a healing spray. Ooh, a fire extinguisher. In the event of a fire, all doors will be locked. Huh. But that's kind of weird that it doesn't give us the option to pick it up. I thought it would. Because usually with all the other ones, it says seek instead of pick up. So maybe it's something where we light a fire in here and then have to go back for the extinguisher. <laughs> the game is like, you know what to do. Set the place on fire. And we... Yeah, I guess we can dump the alcohol in there. <laughs> Why? Why are we lighting the place on fire? Well, you know what? I do like me some arson on uh, whatever today's date is. Dun, 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 dun. 
Yeah, that's kind of a weird policy you guys got there. Alright, sepsis. Nice. Chopsticks. Now we can finally get the sushi. Let's go. See, now I'm gonna have sushi on the brain. Oh. Maybe? We did it! Let's go! We're calling John Radio. Ah, dang it, James. Again. He's gonna be blasting off again to, uh, get the water working. Oh, come on, this is really taking the mess now. Can you call them? Mm-mm. Fellow, I'll get that update. They said last time we'd be back within the hour. Oh, if we have to wait another two days just to get the bloody water back... Yeah. Can't be having that. Neither. Oh, we got an achievement. The third signal. That means we've already missed two signals. Well, I guess we'll have to keep a ear out for that. Get a little bit of backstory as to the residents here. Hell yeah. So like the idea of the guitar as a weapon is good, but I, <laughs> I can't believe that it'd be better than makeshift club. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a little bit more musical. That'll be the best part. Now, I don't think I checked back here. Let me just give a quick sweep. Yeah, a quick little sweepy sweep. Yeah, hearing someone banging on the door is never a good sign in this, <laughs> in these games. You know what to do, claw hammer. 600 volts. Maybe we have to find the... There's like one switch we have to find and put in there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It'll probably be whatever's uh, beating on the door over here that has it. Exit door locked with a keypad. No idea what the combination could be. Electrician's notes. Okay. Uh, Jace, elevator keeps not working. Flip the switches. Big square button. Serious though, the lift is a death trap. Okay. So we kind of have the idea here. We just have to find that last switch because I'm guessing it's probably stuck in one direction. And then, yeah, once we find that, we should be good to go. So I'm guessing what it means is like these three off and then the final one will probably just nuke it down like 200 volts or whatever down to 600 <laughs> what if we just call the demon back and we're like hey so anyways we fucked up uh we we accidentally lit a fire in here can you uh put it out please all right so i'm guessing it has to be oh what if because the chopsticks are small, could they be the the switch? Oh my gosh, my brain is growing. Yes. All right, now I gotta find the big square. Is this the big square? You are square-like. No? Oh, there it is. Oops. There it is. We did it. We solved the mystery.
Let's go. Death trap elevator, here we come. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> the elevator was like a little wonky there. Well, I don't like this. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I don't like this because I'm like, what if something comes through the door or comes through the ceiling? Hello, demons. It's me. I'm here. I have a guitar and I don't know how to play it. Oh shit, it's a man. A malnourished man with an open wound across his face stands before me. He teeters over the eight-story drop of the streets below, casually shifting his weights as he sways in silent rhythm. Uh, I mean, I think he knows it's a long way down. Well, we could say, excuse me. Excuse me. He keeps glancing at his wristwatch, an old analog clock. I'd be surprised if it still works. I don't know if we can actually save this guy. Done a lot of bad things today. Bad things don't always make you a bad person. Exactly. I like that his lips are moving, like, with ours. Don't do it, sir. Shall we talk inside? Yeah. Mother broke your wings. Left to wither in the dirt. Like the rest of us. Okay. You, um, you mean my hover? I'm looking for someone. Yeah, I was like, we could try the radio, but I feel like he's just gonna be like, Sayonara, and then he's gonna jump. Yeah, see, at least with this, we might get somewhere. It's okay, sir, just tell us. What? She's right behind you. She's here, too. You've seen her? I told you. Nobody leaves. Oh, shit. Look, if you know where she is... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to go with the man here. Let's ignore the radio. Please, tell me where she is. I need her. Yeah. Enough. Oh shit! We got him to step down. Do you really think there's a way out? Yeah. Okay, and then we still get the uh, the radio. Let's go. Tax, oh, you've got to help me. Yeah, we we need a lot of help here. Oh no, he's breaking up with us. Okay, okay. Train westbound, got it. 
sound like he said don't trust anyone. Tax. Tax. Hmm. We're me? gonna trust this guy. Okay. Get to the underground. I can do that. Yeah, we can do that. That'll be nice and easy. Lead the way. Eight zero five three. Or a note on the table. Sure. He didn't need it. We need it. <laughs> Just stomps out his, like, cooler box. He's like, wait, I, I, I needed that. Oh. He was zooming around, like, the side of us there. Was... Is he coming? Sir? <laughs> Sir, it's kind of creepy looking. Hello? <laughs> okay, that, that was a little weird. It was like, nah, you don't need to use this. Oh, he's just already in the elevator. Spooky. There we go, let's go, mister. We're going to escape this place together. Nothing bad could possibly happen. It's getting dark. We should hurry. There's snakes? Wait, can we go back in? We can. All right, what I'm gonna do real quick, just, just because we have been recording this for a little while, is I'm gonna go ahead and actually wrap up this episode here. So I want to go back inside and save real quick. And then that way we'll have a good starting point for next time. He's so creepy. He's just standing there in the doorway. All right, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to keep this going just until we get to the save point. I know it's like right in here, but I was like, what if something scary did happen along the way? All righty. Thank you so much for coming out today, party members, to Hollow Body. I know that this one kind of had the slow bird of a beginning, but I do kind of like the direction it is going. It does feel very reminiscent to the old Silent Hill and Resident Evil games. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to see more of this. And, yeah, hopefully it does get a little bit scarier. But so far, I do really like the atmosphere. And I like that it's not just a walking sim. We actually get to fight things. We're not just like... <laughs> You know, just hanging out like, oh yeah, there's something scary over there. I guess I'll just leave or hide in a closet. It's like, nah, we're, we're fighting them. But thank you again for coming out. And thank you to all the new party members that have been joining us recently. My name is Haven, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>